when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? As y'all can see, man, your boy in the car already. I am out the way in the middle of nowhere on my way to SoCal. So I've been on the road for like the last uh, blah, 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 probably like three hours or so. Got a couple more hours to go. But I mean, I was about to say <laughs> I'll be there shortly, but ain't nothing shortly about this. This is cool. Look at this car drive itself. Like I can vlog, no hands on the wheel, just steer and turn. People be sleeping on these kids, man. I love this thing. You feel me? Look at that. Just driving itself, doing all the do. They think it's a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? The test key or whatever you want to call this thing. But yeah, nah, man. So I'm on my way to SoCal right now. I'm going down. I'm going to be picking up some parts for the SC300. Um, and then while I'm out here, I'm going to be linking up with our boy Drew. Me and Drew were supposed to clap. Oh my God. Probably a lot of times ago, we were supposed to be collabing. We were talking about uh, running my SE versus car. So it's like. You know it it gets down it's a it's a car that boogie so i'm looking forward to uh you know chilling with my boy checking out the car and whatever else end up coming about today so you know i'm not gonna do a time lapse and take y'all on the road with me because this is a long ass drive and i know y'all hate that so once i get there grab the parts uh book my bnb or my room i'm not sure yet either either or whatever comes about then we'll go link up with bruh and we'll get into today so you guys should be getting some, uh, you know, collab content over the next couple days. And I think we more than likely we're going to link up with my boy Kicks, man. So we'll probably see my brother later, maybe later tonight or something for for some dinner or something. Or I don't know. I don't I have no clue. We, we freestyling this for the next couple of days. So uh, with that being said, man, let's continue doing nothing and letting the car drive itself. You're still man, on the phone. Check this out. That's why I love this car. Look at it. Look, look. Look, it's bending. Look, it's turning for me. It's gonna break for me. It's gonna speed up for me. Like you ain't gotta do nothing. Like as I feel like more hood niggas should have this. Like you don't need nobody to to ride in the car with you when you're trying to do a drive by. Set it on autopilot. Look, look, look. Ah, uh, bending turns. Feel me? Hit the turn. Hit look. Ah, uh, feel me? Just hang out the window by yourself. Boo, 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 boo. Shoot at who you wanna shoot at and be gone. You ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't got no code of fitness with this. The car doing all the work. Man, I don't know if y'all can see that, but Jesus. That is a stupid clean E30 right here. Woo! You clean, bro. Alright, so we just pulling up. Whew. Beautiful cars. Boy, what's good? You must have like your black door alert. Like I just pulled up, you come open the garage. <laughs> Bro, I was waiting like literally in my kitchen. Just looking for the key. Yeah, I was just like, all right, man, let's do it, you know? So but. So for those that aren't familiar, this is my boy Drew Peacock. How's it going? AKA Drew Weenie. Or y'all can just call him <laughs> Mr. Cox. So yeah, either one will do. I'm cool with either one. So uh but yeah, what do you think? Dream car, man. You like them? Obviously, this is the dream car, but this is sick. It's all right, you know. This is clean. It's cool. You know, it's got a little damage here and there. So mainly this there. is like, this is like when Ford started doing the retro thing, and you know, it's one of those things where it's like love hate, but mm -hmm. this one looks hella good. Thank you. No. You know, usually people are like ah, we don't like this year, but this one looks hella good. Yeah, I mean, when I bought it, it already had like the wide body flares on it. It pretty much had this body kit on it, but um. You know, we changed out the hood, we changed out some of the cosmetics, and then obviously we put in the, the better motor, got rid of the three valve and put in the coyote. So we'll pop up. Oh, this is coyote swapped. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll pop up the hood real quick. Let me, let me get the keys, they're right in here. It's all good. We're gonna be doing this car and this car. But for this video, we're doing this one first. Let me check out the McLaren too. Yeah, check it out. I haven't driven it in a fucking couple weeks. So. Drew's Drew's one of those rich YouTubers. <laughs> This must be what it's like to be a rich YouTuber, huh? <laughs> this is my first time actually seeing the color in person. The last time I seen this car was uh, silver. Yeah, yeah, I was at that uh, Nissan meet or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. I like it, it's all right. Shiny Box Film, I don't want to bash on them too hard, but it doesn't have the same finish as like an Ozotec or like Esmo. Like it looks a little hazy, so. Yeah, I can see it. It's, it almost looks satin, kind of. Yeah, kind of, and it's like, it, it sucks, because 
you know, you want it to look nice, but... Uh, it don't look bad. It's protecting the paint. It's whatever, so... But yeah, check her out. Sheesh! <laughs> Is tire big enough? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> it's as big as I can go. It's a, what is it, 315? 315.60? Yeah. So I had to chop underneath a lot, but it's a built Gen 3, uh, 3 liter Whipple. So, 14 pounds of boost. I'm limited due to the 6 rib and my fuel. So, if I do a 10 rib and fuel, turn it up to 20 psi and, I don't know, 1100 wheel or something. Hmm. What's it making now? 930. 930. So. It's fun, you know, and the car, compared to new S550s, it's a bit lighter, so. And it's like sneaky. No one expects it to really be coyote swap. No, no, not many people expect it. Probably think it's still 4.6. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, I mean, it's fun. Um, I love this car. It's just a, a matter of getting the power to the floor, so. Uh, Bro, these coyote motors are so huge. Dude. Like, I want to I wanna do one so bad or something, but I'm just like, bruh. I always wanted to you do run out of room in everything you put it in. Oh, yeah. I always wanted to do a Coyote Fox, but, I mean, it's tight in that. Yeah. Area. It's super tight. So, that's why it luckily drops into this real nice just because of the S197s eventually come with them. But Yeah, now, you can actually get... You can get to the to the freaking spark plugs on here. Yeah, yeah, I've actually I've actually done them, so it's not it's not too bad, you know. Nah, this is this is manageable. On the Fox, it's like, bro, you gotta drop the K member. <laughs> you ain't you ain't getting the plugs from the top. No, no, that sounds like a fucking hassle. So you plan on upgrading this to uh, a A rib? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be the next thing. It'll be the eight or ten, the ten rib, and then yeah, the uh, the fuel system. I need a third pump. So jeez. Yeah. But I don't know, like I said, with, with already struggling to hook, like I can't do 40s for shit. I'm pretty much <laughs> locked in at 60s. And I mean, I mean, if you look at the suspension in the rear, we, we ditched the shitty Ford Panhard bar and we have a full watts link and a torque arm and everything. I mean, luckily it's got tall tires so you can see, but. Oh yeah, it does have four link. Yeah, even with all that, it's still struggling, so. Oh, you run all uh, Cortex stuff. Yeah. No, I love it. It's uh, it's it's pretty solid. It makes it way more uh, predictable, I should say. So my um, my boy used to work at Cortex as their their fabricator. Mm -hmm. My boy Craig, they do a bunch of sick stuff. No, they seriously do. I mean, their shit's solid, and I mean, it's a it's a night and day difference just driving this. You know, before when it would get squirrely, you feel the rear end want to kick out. Now when it gets squirrely, I mean, it just breaks loose and goes straight. 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 Yeah. yeah. So it, it's way more predictable and. Uh, I haven't hit any crowds yet, so it's a, it's a true testament. <laughs> so uh, we'll pop the super. Oh well, you're not doing the super this video, right? Yeah, we're gonna do that one we'll separate. Wait, we're gonna, we'll we, when we come back. Yeah, we'll wait. This is. Little. I know. I know this one ain't gonna be as fast as this one, but yeah. honestly, this is why I'm like I'm super looking forward to the super. Have you rode a super? I haven't. Really? This, this is your first super. This will be my first. As many supers as I, I've been around, and as bad as I've wanted one, <laughs> I've never rode in a super. Surprisingly. Oh, wow. Okay. Shit, yeah, no, I'll take you for it. You want to drive it? No. Okay. I hate driving people's shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I just figured I'd ask. But yeah, I mean, yeah, we could, uh, we can get this thing going. You want a cold start? Yeah, let's hear it. It's going to be loud. As expected, it's hella loud. <laughs> oh, this thing's all gutted. So it's all good and stuff too? That's how I bought it. Yeah, I, I probably would have left in the rear seats, but that's how I bought it. I just added the X brakes or whatever, but uh race yeah. car. Race car, you know. <laughs> Dude, that's like the, the things with coyotes, like you never hear them like super choppy. Like they always idle hella smooth. It's so sad because they sound good with the ghost cam, but I just won't do it. Hey, and then swapping all four cams. <laughs> Thing. apparently even if you swap it you won't get that like natural oh, I put it on backwards the last time I used this mount it was when the Suvi caught fire God rest her soul she's not here no more thick ass girthy mount my mount be flopping and stuff really? people like your car hella bouncy I'm like bruh it's this mount yeah this shit still bounces a bit but I mean I've taken it to the track with the McLaren and it's, it never flew off so I mean, mine never flew off, but it was definitely floppy. Yeah, no, mine, I mean, on the freeway, it just depends on, I guess, how, how far I extend it. I usually go, I mean, I go pretty far. I usually go to, like, here. There's some people that do it, like, right here, and it just doesn't look right. It's that Gran Turismo view right here. Yeah, exactly. Where's some wood at? Is this bamboo? Is bamboo considered wood? I got wood over here, so I'll, I'll do it over here. <laughs> this wood? No? no. It's limestone or some shit? The lining of the garage, I guess. There you, there you go. We're knocking on wood because he 
try the Jinxes. This is gonna be smooth right along. No popo. sooner yeah I honestly think for something like this I think a probably like a 355 would be good that's what it came with so I'm thinking when I turn it up I definitely got to put it back because the low end torque is just crazy right now like it's, it's not gonna hook but it's no way, so. yeah I, I would do the 355s that's what I did on my uh my green notch also a lot of people do like 373s and 410s but I feel like on a boosted car like yeah you, you need it like I think the 355s are like perfect yeah because you have the boost to power through it so and it lets you sit in that gear longer. Yeah. This thing hits it. This is third gear. the minimum of like 1150 okay so yeah. i'm going I'm, I'm definitely going for for a thousand plus all right now socal traffic that's what I, I was just telling them that 
I was like, this is the only place in the world I know where you can you can literally be five miles away from your destination and it'll take you an hour to get there. Oh, dude, it's ridiculous. This car feels good. It like, with the roost house, is like, like, so instant. It's like, no weight, no yeah. lag. Yeah, no, it's completely different. Like, you get in this and you drive it around and then you get in the Supra and... The like, lag, a little, little wait for it, wait yeah. for it, then hit. Yeah. yeah, like, unless I'm on the anti-lag, yeah, like, it's just... It's, it's a completely different feeling and that's kind of like how I like building my cars. A lot of people... When I got rid of the Subaru, they're like, "Oh, go get like a Mark V," and it's like a Mark V would be kind of similar to what I already have. You know? Yeah, it'd be cool, but you know, I have matching Supras. <laughs> I don't know. I like having different stuff. How's this thing doing, Tim? As far as like, um, like supercharger temps? It's all right. I mean, intake air temp right now is 111. It is a warmer day out. Um, I I need an ice tank. Mm. That's like the next thing I'm gonna get. Just because I mean, why not? But with uh, all of the venting I have, it actually isn't too bad. If we're moving, it, it, it's pretty It's pretty consistently, you know. Now, 111 intake temps ain't that bad. Because yeah. when, when you get on boost, that temp's gonna go down anyway. Yeah, exactly, yeah. so, can't complain. Big ass cow hood. Yeah, that takes some getting used to. <laughs> I can see I can see your engine through here. <laughs> <laughs> A boosted Coyote would be so fun. I'm just like, man, trying to stuff it in something. It's like, yeah, that's, that's the only thing. Like as, as much fun as I love this car, I wouldn't recommend redoing what I did. It's just <laughs> I've, I've changed so many suspension sets just trying to dial it in, and that's just to make 930. Like I don't know. I feel like hey, 930 is a lot though. It's a lot, but I mean, I feel like for an S550, they'd be able to put it down, or like a Hellcat, but they also got the weight to, to hold it down. Yeah, the weight is what helps you kind of with the traction. I imagine it feels even lighter. Yeah. When hook for crap. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. It's a trade-off. Or just get a C6, those hook up good. I love C6. <laughs> I really want a C6. I think I would sell the McLaren, use the majority of what I get for like a down payment on a house. ZR1. And then I, I just want a Z06, honestly. A ZR1's cool. Are you planning on boosting it? I don't know. I'd have to see, because I, I think I'd want it to be like a dedicated track car, and I feel like an NA Z06 would be perfect. They, dude, they're quick, but the LS7s are, are finicky. Really? Yeah. See, I'm not an LS guy. Like, I, I know. LS7, LS9, like that's like what you want if you want to make big power, but... LS9 is actually uh, LS3 based though. Really? They're 6.2s. They're oh. not uh, 7.0s. It's just different heads and shit, right? Yeah, the, the block's a little different, forged and, forged and all that, but essentially uh, LS, uh, LS9 is the same, roughly the same as like a, a, a LS3. Okay. It's like closer to that than the LS7. Yeah, see, I've never had an LS, and besides the, the new car I just bought, I've never really had a Chevy either, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I don't really think that counts. I mean, it kind of does, but it's not a sports car. Pretty much dedicated drag car. To an extent. I, I just, think this would be a, this would probably be a good run with my C6. Yeah. Yeah. What I, I forgot. What is your C6 make? Uh, A plus. Yeah, and it's got the arrow and the weight too. That's what I'm saying. This makes this makes more power, but it's a brick. That that <laughs> car has the the aerodynamics and the, the yeah. light you know lighter chassis. Exactly. Yeah. No, that'd probably be a good run. Yeah. Next time you come down here, just drive it. You know. I am. The I was, hour trip. <laughs> dude, I was no. Um, I was thinking about driving it this trip down, but I, I don't have third gear, so I was like, mm. yeah, I'm gonna go out there, and then people are gonna be trying to mess with me. Yeah. I ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Yeah, you're gonna either start in fourth, or I mean, I don't know if it hooks in second. It probably does. It the, does. Yeah, second, with, second works pretty good. With the trans back there and shit, it's got the weight right over the wheels. I love fucking Corvettes, bro. They're they're dope. Like they're, C6 is like the perfect car. It does everything. Exactly. Handles good. Looks good. Sounds good. Oh, exactly. Handles power. Yeah, like. If I were to get a Chevy, that's what I'd get. That's yeah, like the best of the best of exactly. the Chevys. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, even like just talking about Corvettes, like I, I wouldn't touch a C8. I don't like them. Nah, see, see, I'm not the only person that doesn't like C8s. I don't like them. They, the they, mid-engine shit, I feel like it's like, it's too fake artificial like Ferrari now. Yeah, and I mean like, it just looks like a fucking cheap Hot Wheel. Like it doesn't look that nice. I was at, dude, I was at a Chevy dealership yesterday. That is Z06 sold. Sold for 200 and something thousand. It had like a 50,000 markup and it sold. Yeah, nah. Uh, you guys are crazy. It had carbon fiber wheels and shit. Like it was sick, but the base C8, it's not, it's not for me. C5, C6, C7 are my favorite Corvettes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
get back over. You actually sit pretty low in here. It's like a good amount of room too. Yeah, yeah it's like it, hella roomy. It's really comfortable. Um, my seat's a little more deteriorated than that one, just because I mean it's a driver's seat, but. Yeah, these are the seats that came with it, and I mean, if I needed to wear a helmet to go drag racing, oh yeah, you'll fit. I totally could. That's one thing. I had some aggressive ass bucket seats, and you'll be happy that I don't have many more. But I had some in the Supra, and dude, you were like right there, and I even like took out padding and everything. They just sat it's high. Hell high, yeah. I, I cut the rails, I did everything, but it was just still way too high. The the Recaros that I have in an hour are just perfect. Look over the hood, like. <laughs> Other than that, you like feel like you. People probably looking inside here like it's supposed hella short. Like you actually sit hella low in here. It's pretty nice. Or this car has like deep, deep floor pans. Yeah. And the doors like are high. Oh yeah, yeah. Like when you're yeah, you like you like tuck, tucked up in here. Like chicken wing in it. <laughs> uh, we should get it straight. I mean, we got some room. Should we try a second again? I don't think it'll hook, but I mean, I don't mind getting squirrely. I mean, I ain't tripping. You want to race? Yeah, you want some? You want some? Give me the hit. Oh, that's my favorite thing. I love when people pull up on me and they're, again, they're unsuspecting. They don't expect 900 horsepower. I'm like, oh, just go ahead. I'll catch up, you know? <laughs> All right, we'll slow down a bit.
in your ghost when, I, when I'm dead. <laughs> probably hey, both. it's always the passenger that dies, too. Uh, to be fair, we're probably both dead. I think my steering or my uh, fucking airbag has a recall. I've never taken a rear of it, so <laughs> I'm dead, you're dead, we're all dead.